multiplayer dreaming full dive VR or a flawless brain computer interface. Regardless of what you call it, some people are developing it for medical purposes without realizing that a lot of individuals want it for completely different reasons. Can we finally go to sleep and wake up next to an anime cat girl? I mean, I did promise yep. the internet that I'd make cat girls where we could make a robot cat girl. The idea of using a device to transform our dreams into video games has been considered fantasy for quite a while. But because of Elon Musk's Neuralink and a few other advancements, it's starting to seem possible. The concept of full dive technology has been explored multiple times. We've seen it in Sword Art Online, Ready Player One, to some extent, and a few others. But in reality, the closest thing to that that we currently have is virtual reality. High quality VR headsets have been introduced to the wide market in 2012, when Oculus Rift made its debut with its very successful Kickstarter campaign that raised over $2 million. Now, in 2023, there are too many VR brands to even count. Even Apple is trying to make one and it will cost three and a half grand. That's enough money to buy a quad! Can you imagine how outdoorsy you would look if you owned a quad? And never used it because the only thing you do is play League? Well, monitors strapped to your eyes are cool, but people want more. They crave realism. One approach to better immersion is better VR headsets, haptic feedback, full body suits, for simulating dancing, not any kind of kinky stuff of course, and ultimately, the ability to walk forever without hitting a wall. However, this rudimentary approach to covering every little detail is very expensive, annoying, and almost impossible for the average consumer. Therefore, something that may sound slightly more realistic is a device that turns your sleep into reality. But you aren't really sleeping, you're wide awake. And everything you do is not only available to you, like in a dream, but shared with millions of people in real time. Think of it like multiplayer dreaming. It is called Full Dive VR. Do we have it? No. Are we slowly developing something that might give us that? Yes. Elon Musk came up with a theory. We currently cannot use technology to its full potential because we don't have an efficient medium to do it. We need keyboards and mice, which are very slow, and we need monitors to see. What we need is a faster medium. So he started developing Neuralink, a brain-computer interface that completely eliminates the need for keyboards, mice, and so on. He first tested it on a pig, then he got it working on a monkey. Here's that monkey playing ping pong using its brain. And the pipe he's munching on is giving him food when he plays well so that he has a reason to play well. Here's another monkey typing using its brain. But don't expect anything clever, he's a monkey. And now listen to this. The first two applications we're gonna aim for in humans um, are restoring vision. It can restore vision. And they will also try to restore motor function for people in wheelchairs, for example. Which means that they will be able to move muscles and maybe even feel things. And if that's the case, they will also be able to feel things that aren't real if they wanted to. So basically, you might soon be able to experience how it feels to get shot in the head <laughs> in Call of Duty and then wake up in Skyrim. Also, on the same note, OpenBCI is developing Galia, a brain-computer interface that merges mixed reality with real-time biometrics data. Let's do something we probably shouldn't do and fly over the audience. Oh boy. <laughs> Piloting drones using only your brain and seeing it live through VR glasses must feel extremely exciting. Anyway, until those get released, full body suits with haptic feedback are as cumbersome as ever, depending on the brand, and traditional VR is still evolving. I am currently waiting for a higher field of view VR headset because I don't wanna feel like I'm seeing the world through a tube. And neither should you. 89 degrees on the Oculus Quest 2? Come on. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and see you soon. Okay, I don't know if it's perfect, I don't know if I like it, but... Um...